Australia may be hours away from a major milestone in spaceflight. Engineers in Queensland are prepping what will be the first orbital rocket made by an Australian company to launch here. And as science and tech correspondent Breno Halloran reports, it's hoped it will fire up a new minister to boost our space sector. Rolling out a rocket for the record books. We have to do quite a few more tests on it. We've already done a whole lot so far, it's working very well. After years of tests and planning, months waiting for approvals, and a late cyclone force delay, Eris, the 25 metre three stage rocket, will soon soar from Australia's newest large launch site in Bowen, North Queensland. Yeah, it's getting real. We already started the countdown. NASA has launched suborbital rockets in the Northern Territory and foreign firms took their rockets into orbit from Australia 50 years ago. But the Gilmore space mission is an Aussie first. The launch window opens Thursday. This opens a huge range of possibilities and the, and the first one is Australia as the best place in the world for launches and returns. But first flights are typically tough and fiery. It may take a few goes before Gilmore gets one into orbit. It's understood in the market that you do these things to learn and that you're not necessarily going to achieve total success on the first mission. I would love to see more people, more companies, you know, bite off big chunks of risk to do other very, very ambitious things. The new science minister, Tim Ayres, is asked to show ambition too by boosting space spending and creating a national space strategy. Uh, space strategy could really give clarity, give focus, give an impetus to what could be a, an extraordinary industry for Australia. The global space industry is worth around a trillion dollars. Australian firms take around 1% of that. And for crucial satellite data, we are heavily reliant on sometimes temperamental allies. And we're starting to see a very precarious situation where that might not be the case in the future. Adding to the hope placed on a Queensland company aiming to make history. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.